Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ifwa Lavi and actually today's video is like a come to Jesus moment for me or I've had like a come to Jesus moment because uh, after I released my last video or after I posted my last video, I had people like sending me comments, like hitting me up on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter and even in my like in my DMs and on private messages, right? And like everybody had like stuff to share with me about how to make the industry in Ghana, like the movie industry in Ghana move forward or like grow and even the people that left the comments underneath my previous video, I tried to say I see all of you and this is like it's all part of my come to Jesus moment. So I'll tell you what my moment was and the new direction in which I'm aiming to take this channel. So you know what my name is, you know what you do at this point in time. So just click the subscribe button. I mean, it's right down there. You see it. It's a red subscribe. So just subscribe to my channel and then we'll get to talking. So before I continue, most of the time when I've spoken about the industry in Ghana, it's been with a little bit like, it's been with a lot of like skating remarks and a lot of like, displeasure and someone texted me that the industry isn't as advanced as the American industry the South African industry and even the Nigerian movie industry and that's valid and even when I try to explain to the person that I look at it from more of a story line point of view and trying to like break up the stereotype they still inform me that at least I shouldn't be so hard on the movie industry and I said that's cool fair is fair so then I thought about it and I thought about ways in which I can use my channel to actually make the movie industry better or like shine a better light on the movie industry and ways in which you can move forward to make it better, to make it great, to actually not make it be one step forward and a hundred steps back because honestly that trend really really annoys me the most because it's like when the movie industry gets to a certain point, right? It's like, okay, we are getting to this point where it should be built upon, but instead of it being built upon, we realize that we actually go back. So it's like, we, we take it one step in like the 20th century and we are like a hundred steps back in like Victorian England, something like that. So then this is what I'm going to do with my channel. This is 2018, the year just begun. It's been like 14 days into the year, but the year just begun. So that's what I'm going to do for my channel. So any new show, any new series, any Ghanaian show, I'm going to like shine a light upon it, tell you the things I like, the people behind it, and try to like make you guys aware of it. Because there are a lot of people doing stuff in Ghana that we don't know about. Even me, it takes me a while. I have to like research, research on it. So this is me trying to like, any person doing anything, any animation, series, movies, show, I don't know, any idea on the movie industry, I'll be the one that like, I actually shine a light on it because I feel like we have to support each other and sometimes if you can't support through money word of mouth is also support it's a great way to get support out there so that's what I'm going to be doing I'm going to be doing word of mouth I'm going to tell you guys I'm going to post the links to where you can get it and everything and word of caution me trying to move in this new direction does not mean that I'm going to like just let it be all roses and I'm not going to say anything bad because you know it's just not in my nature not to be all happy and, and shit like no it's not it's just not in my nature i can't be happy all the time it grates at me i feel like i age a lot more when i'm happy all the time so this is it i'll give praise where praise is due i'll give credit where credit is due i'll heap all those things but when i feel like you're just being a very lazy storyteller you're being a very lazy filmmaker you're being a very lazy something i'm going to talk about it like i'm going to shine the light on it because you can't just say that because you're trying to make the industry grow we should all just make it lovely sometimes you have to understand the hard truth you have to be you know the truth has to be slapped on our faces so that's that look we have to sit up but at the same time too i get that there are other people that are doing great things because for the past two days i've actually been researching on people that have actually attempted to start something in ghana but because of lack of support and because of lack of funds they didn't like they didn't come back to do it again and i feel like it's wrong and i feel like it's sad because all these people Will take their talents elsewhere that's how come right now you find in a lot of hollywood movies a lot of Ghanaians are in the credits in the group like in the production and anytime i see it i'm like wait that's a Ghanaian though even in shows and i feel like we can start from here so if i feel like i'm rambling a lot which i am actually but you see i'm very passionate about the movie industry because i hope to be part of the movie industry and also 2018 has a lot of Ghanaian projects that has a lot of promise so you come here, I'll still shine a light to, okay, this Ghanaian show, I think it's good. Try it. Support the person. I'll leave the links below. 
I'll, you know, reference it anywhere you see. I see a Ghanaian thing that I think is really good. It really deserves our support. I'll link it below. But if not, and I think that you're just being lazy, I'll just, I'll just say it because look, some of the movies I've seen in the past week haven't been the best. And the people that sounds too hard on YOLO, no, YOLO, no. I can't, like, I can't even give them a pass because honestly, stereotypes is just not my thing. And this is the thing, people try to make me understand that comedy is like such a huge part of the Ghanaian lifestyle. And I get it, comedy sells. But I feel like we shouldn't do comedy. And I think that's a part where a lot of people got me wrong. I'm not trying to say that don't do comedy. But don't make comedy become... No, don't make comedy stupid. That's my thing. Comedy can be done and it's very insightful. But a lot of the comedy that's done makes comedy look stupid. And I'm not for making me look stupid or for making other people look stupid. I'm all for empowerment. I'm all for, you know, let's do this thing together. I'm all for having fun. I'm all for the crazy. I'm all for everything. So... That's it. So this is my new direction. It's, it's like an art direction. It's like you know when British Vogue ever since Edward Enufo took over British Vogue. That's hey Edward is Ghanaian. But this is what I'm trying to say. Ever since Edward took over British Vogue or Vogue Britain, he's trying to make it more diverse. He's trying to put more you know people of color on the front page, and that's great. So that's what I'm going to do for my channel too. I'm going to put a lot more Ghanaians on the forefront. So. If you're a filmmaker out there, if you're a creator out there, hit me up. Let me know what you're doing. I will watch it. I will come. Don't give it to me for free. Let me support you. I'll come and pay my own money and come and watch it. I'll tell people about it. I'll, I'll review about it on my channel because, I mean, if we don't support each other, how else? Who else is going to support us anyways? I mean, those out there aren't going to support us unless we do it to each other because if they see that we support our own, they will come around or not. But then, at the end of the day, it's ourselves. So, and that doesn't mean I'm not still going to do my foreign TV shows. Honey, I still watch those TV shows. They are like the things I do when I need to sleep or when I need to wake up or when I just need to like while away the time. Because, you know, I get depressed too. I'm t like, I'm trying to overcome my depression. But, you know, it's one step at a time. So, wait, I'm done with my video. I'm done with like, you know, my little come to Jesus moment and everything that surrounds it. So, subscribe to my channel. I mean, if you've watched it this far why are you not subscribing to my channel because i feel like you're just being a treacherous human being and you know i can't stand for that like we can't stand for that support my brand support who i am and as to support me you support ghana and then you know what very soon we might be doing like six million ten million budget movies i mean we can get there nothing is like too hard when you put our minds to it so that's it. My name is Ifa Labi. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos that are going to be here. I'm going to put it here. I'm just going to put it anywhere. So then, that's it. I'm um, done with my video. I'll see you on my next video. And I'm honestly going to do the show this time. I will not forget. And the show, I actually want to know how to pronounce If it's called The Shy Out of Shytown or Chi, as in Chicago. So I'll see you on my next video.